welcome back if you're joining me for another video if you're joining me for the first time hello I have a 10 trends Kiana now I didn't even know these dolls existed until I saw one um, I've seen a couple of them actually on J dolls channel and I just saw the size of them and the articulation and the look and I was like oh my goodness I'm in love um, it doesn't surprise me at all that they're a Mattel doll they have a very Barbie-ish type face but what gets me is the size of the doll I'll bring up a Barbie here is a Barbie right next to her. She's below her shoulder line. So these are a big doll, but the face is what got me. I could not find them anywhere in my country. Um, I went to several sites and I asked some people and I don't even know if they came to my country now. So I'm not too certain. Nobody had either heard of them or had really no idea what I was talking about. So I was getting frustrated. And of course, BFF, he, um, he ain't having none of it. If I wanted the doll, that's the doll I'm going to get. So he made sure that I got her. Um, I specifically wanted Kiana from the ones I'd looked at. I just think her with her brunette hair with uh, highlights in it and her green eyes was gorgeous. You know me, brunettes and then my daughter Astra. Brunettes with blue eyes just are just our favorite dolls. But quite, we'll take a gorgeous brunette with green eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what she is. So she comes in this carry case. There is a handle up here. Um, she's quite heavy. I'm actually surprised at how heavy she is. She comes with all these accessories. It says there's a glitter pen in there. I imagine since this is a 2005 doll, I think 2005 was what I glanced at on the bottom, uh, that the glitter pen is long <laughs> since tried out over a decade later. Uh, she comes with a Teen Trends book over here, some hair accessories, there's something in the little book down here, some fashion decals. My cool case is also my closet. Now, much like the LOL OMG dolls, where you can reuse the boxes as closets and stuff. Um, if you're a toy collector or a doll collector, um, just a collector in general, you'll know that space is always at a premium with collections. So, I'm a de-boxer, I don't like toys in boxes. It, look it's a silly thing to me I don't understand the purpose of toys and boxes but um you know if that's your thing that's your thing I am going to get her out of here and I will be recycling the box back into the system so future dolls can have a home okay so I flipped the box over uh, it says get funky go punky oh punk style one of my favorite the right pose is so key my secrets revealed style it with decals Cool barrettes, pull this look together. How about color streaks? Oh, you can streak her hair. Oh, I like that. My daughter has a yellow streak through her hair, if you've seen that on Instagram. Um, and my son had a blue mohawk. It's kind of faded now, but um, for the longest time. <laughs> we, are, we are very punk style. Mummy likes punk style. Um, the coolest dog ever. Oh, does it come with a doggy? Oh my goodness, I didn't see a doggy in there. Is he in the closet? I have to look for doggy. If she has a doggy, I need a doggy. Taking fashion chances, weekend wear. So, oh, concert outfit, night out weekend air, just for me and my fashion. So I don't know if these are separate accessory packs or not. This is just um, a lot of the teen trends dolls I've videos I've seen since have just been on the second hand doll market, so they don't actually have what's on the box, which is what really interests me. And then there is everythinggirl.com, whether that's still uh, functional, I don't know. There have been a few toys which have had websites which have slowly gone out over the years. Let's pull her down and see how easy it's to get her open. Eee, I'm really excited about this one. Um, when I get, if it's something new and something I know that certain friends of mine in New Zealand don't have, I get really excited because I can put it, I just be like, I have it and you don't have it, you know. <laughs> bit of toy snobbery there so it looks like there's sellotape up the top here and then we might be able to slide it out oh I'm pulling I do have RSI on my wrist so I'm not very strong when it comes to wrists is there ah that makes sense there is sellotape at the bottom so it felt like there was something holding it in and another one at the top here I'm really excited to get this brand new rather than the second hand one because I wanted to know all about it. All right, so we've got this here again. As I say in all my videos, if you can recycle it, do. Okay, so she's out, and as she was going out, this thing was flapping. 
Oh, it's like Living Dead dolls. So you have... Oh, that's, that's actually a dilemma because I kind of like that. But that is a huge, huge space taker. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to decide on that. Um, because in the low OMG closets, there's all these like these things hanging off them and they don't look that attractive. This is actually quite attractive, kind of like a suitcase for your doll actually. Well, I don't know, we'll have a think about it. However, let's get back to it. Enough rambling mama. Let's get those sellotape there. Does this come out? Yes, it does. All right, sweetheart, I'm gonna be gentle with you because I don't want, I know you've been in there a while. There is a doll stand. There is a doll stand behind her. Um, okay. It's been a while since I've watched the review, so a lot of these things are going to be new. Oh, you can smell. Whew. I I am going to be... Um, uh, that smells musty. This has obviously been in a storage room. I do not like musty smell. If her clothes smell musty, they're going to get a hand wash. Okay, so we have here... A basic construction guide of the stand of your accessories and her so I'm assuming those outfits on the back uh, are additional outfits you can purchase there's the glitter thing which is meant to do the hair streaks I ain't holding up much hope for that darlings so I think that will be a lot of desert bone dry okay so this part can we pull this out can we pull this out like the other one I've already done the cell tape on that side Oh, oh, we pull this down and out. So there is the clothes hanger right there. This is really cool. I wonder if I should have waited for Astra to come back. She might have actually wanted to watch this one. As you know, I never force my kids to do videos, but some videos they're really interested in. They don't want to be on video, and you should never force your kids to be on video if they don't want to. But they kind of play. If you hear things in the background, they kind of play behind me while they're watching Mummy do the openings. Now, is there anything in this box? Nope. This is just, this is actually a cute box. You can put like your makeup brushes in this. Yeah, I might get rid of the wardrobe, but I might keep that box. <laughs> like little storage things. It's a, oh, I'm sure there's somebody out there that would love this box. Maybe I'll give it to the thrift store and see if they want it. It almost seems a shame, it's so pretty. But it does not look good, does it? Let's bring it. <laughs> And this, of course, is to be expected. If you are buying secondhand dolls, and they are old dolls, and I've seen someone who's complained about this before, and I just thought, are you for real? Products like glitters, and um, this obviously is like a, a streak thing for hair, they're going to be bone dry. Of course they are. They've been sitting in a box for donkey's years. Um, yeah, so this is effectively fodder for the bin. So that is going to be in the bin see what else is here all right okay we have a very basic doll brush then you have these little hair ties I'm gonna get all these hair things out first so we can play with it on the dolly oh, that's a very oriental chopstick one isn't it okay let's bring that out ah they have metal ties I hate metal ties on toys I hate them I haven't seen many metal tie to to metal ties on toys except for Schleek and um, uh, those horses I was reviewing, Brea horses in the last few years. So I'm glad that they went out of the metal tie fad for keeping dolls in. Please focus for me. All right, so we have this oriental hair piece here which of course I call the chopstick design because you put the chopsticks through to hold it in oops go please go and it's cute it's got a little design on the front there and then we have these like chain link clips so this is more punk this is oriental but this is definitely more punk style to me Okay, so those metal clips weren't as bad as some of the other toys. Um, they were quite, I guess because of age, quite easy for me to snip through, unlike some of the other ones I've had to deal with. So I just snipped through them and got my dolly out. Now, let's get this stand ready. I'm actually impressed with this stand. 
that's a nice stand and I love that it's see-through so it doesn't detract from the doll in any way kind of isn't trying to be as invisible as it can be it's a big dolly stand and oh my goodness gracious me she does yeah that's her hair what I was smelling that musty smell is the product in her hair is the product in her hair it has been sitting there for so long you can see it's, it's like a piece of paper it's been sitting in her hair for so long that parts of it have obviously heated and melted um, I can see the melting line here and it's given her hair this awful smell let's try her clothes it's semi in her clothing but not so much however I am going to get some fabric uh, pour a basin of hot water get some fabric softener and a little bit of um, of you know powder you put into the washing machine and give them a, a very gentle hand wash because um, I don't want anything to fray however the doll herself is gorgeous I mean really really gorgeous I'm so incredibly pleased with her this is when I saw her on J dolls I was like how do I not know about this doll what is this doll and why don't I have it <laughs> Why? There are a lot of dolls I don't know about out there, but um, when it's a beautiful doll like this, I just can't believe that I've missed reviews on. She is so sticky from that hair product. You, my dear, are going to get go to the salon and get your hair done and re-straightened and your clothes washed because though the smell isn't vile like cigarette smell it is there and I don't want her stinking anyway let's bring her up and have a look here is her face you can see that it has a shine to it because of that product on there which is why I started touching it it does have a shine to it that is just this hair product I'll show like here can you fit can you hear that it's like paper um so the material product that they've used on either side has just been sitting somewhere and it's congealed and melted and oh, it's it's not very nice however it has kept a hairstyle rather nicely hasn't it um it is not moving much <laughs> apart from the wisps at the back but look let's not focus on that let's look at her face she has this very barbie-esque um teresa type of look to her I think it's Teresa the one with the brunette with the green eyes and um, I apologize if I've got that wrong uh, asterisk the dog Barbie expert not me um she has this plum lipstick and you can see the size of her face compared to my finger she has these star dangly earrings which are just gorgeous I love these star dangle earrings so she does have pierced ears her movement in her head is from side to side. She can look slightly up and slightly down. Going down to her uh, chest area here, she has on a pink t-shirt, which is attached at the moment to her jacket. Let's remedy this. Yep. Is it a short t-shirt or a long t-shirt? It's a short sleeve t-shirt. Oh, we've also got pegs down here holding her arms in place they really did not want her to move around in there did they <laughs> no escaping so short sleeve pink t-shirt this black jacket which is almost like um what do we call almost like a, a um a jumper here now in New Zealand and this is because my friend was like what the on earth is a jumper in New Zealand we call like winter jumpers that you pull over and stuff like that we call them jumpers so yeah <laughs> it's a jacket because it has a zip at the front but it is in like the jumper material which will mean something to the people down over down under <laughs> and it has this following pink stripe here on this jacket then down to her bag which is also attached by a tie somewhere my goodness they really really did not she's gonna fall down when I snip this did not oh, there we go not too bad kind of like a um 
yeah it's an imitation leather bag can you open it and put stuff in you are able to store things within her bag in the same color theme she has a pink belt with silver ringlets then we have these jeans in a jean like material are the pockets real no the pockets aren't real so they just have this really cool looking imitation pockets going down to her jeans here on the side they have a zip up can we get that in focus please camera hello <laughs> there we, go. we have a zip up at the side of her jeans that was actually a real trend for a short while was these zip up jeans at the side and then we have plastic boots in a brownie purple they shine in the light brown, but they are an actual purple. That's interesting. And they are plastic rather than material. Uh, she is a bit flopsy-mopsy in her joints. Um, for coming straight out brand new, her joints are real loose. She has shoulder articulation here. She can move her shoulder round, and she has the elbow movement. She does not have wrist movement. So you can pose her in a variety of ways. She is semi-strung, it seems, in the arms. So she does pull on you a bit. You see how she pulls back into position? <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so you're going to have to be a bit strong when you pose her. Going down to her hips, of course, she can move her legs back and forward. She can not ninja kick to the side very well. She can split her legs a little bit, but not very well. And also... As you've probably seen, her knee joints are very, very loose. And I wonder if it's because she is a strung doll and being in the box for so long, um, she needs restringing. Ah, my leg, it's lame! No, yeah, no! Yeah. She'll be a great kicker in soccer. Look at her go. Oh my goodness, Kiana. You missed your calling. <laughs> so that's very, very cute. I like that a lot. Um... Her outfit, I don't know if I'd call it so much punk. To me, it actually looks very plain. <laughs> there are some little punkish sort of elements to it. But to me, she looks like an ordinary teen. I, I wouldn't be surprised if a teen wore something out like this. It wouldn't surprise me at all. It wouldn't make me look twice either. Whereas punk design tends to make you look twice. Let's look at the clips in her hair. Are on a little nook. Let's punk you up a bit, sweetheart. You're not very punk. You're very ordinary, actually. Uh, push that into there. We've got one clip in. Yeah, this this is nice. I like this. This is very, very punk style. Maybe they didn't want to punk you too much because uh, they want mummies and daddies to buy you for their girls. <laughs> so there we go. She's got two chain link clips on the side. They went in rather easy. Her hair at the back here is free flowing. Not the stuff at the side that's plastered down, but this is actually really soft and nice. I love these highlights through her hair. Now, if you have seen um, Astra's hair, she had a big streak of yellow going through her hair on my Instagram. Slowly over time that has faded, it was a banana yellow, faded down to blonde. So this is very reminiscent of my daughter's hair. She has these, when we brush it back, the once yellow, now blonde streaks just like go right through it. So this is very much like Astra's hair and it's down to her bottom, just like my daughter's hair. She loves long hair. That stand sells her very well and her legs naturally this one on this side went into a lock mechanism so she stands up very well. So the loose joints don't bother me too much. I mean I can restring her just kind of if she is strung like a ball jointed doll I can restring her but I'm not going to mess with her other than cleaning her clothes and her plastic to get rid of that smell. <laughs> so here is her book. Little doggy didn't come with her. I want little doggy. I was hoping he is locked away in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a weird thing but okay Kiana I'm all about living on the edge so I'm into the punk look some people say it matches my attitude lol you're totally gonna dig what I'm going what I've got going on with my hair um for a punk look again I think it's a very basic punk look to me 
I, I wouldn't look twice at someone wearing that and say they're punk. I think she looks kind of dressed up. I don't know if that's just in my opinion. Maybe if it was a black short skirt or something, like a black imitation skirt, uh, different streaks in her hair. Maybe when the pink goes through her hair, it would have been a bit better, but uh, yeah. I wouldn't say it was show punk. Some silver studs maybe, or spikes on her boots. That would have been cool. So nothing basic about black with brilliant colors. Check out the kicks. Oh, she does like ninja kicking. She knew her calling was soccer. <laughs> okay, oh, now this I would say would be more punk. Look at this. So that is an additional outfit with her. Yeah, that, that, if that, do you know what that reminds me of? Um, the Bratz twins, the Wicked twins. That is so reminding me of them. Um, okay, we then have this look. Now this look again, I wouldn't say it's so much punk. Kind of actually looks more French to me. These ones here. But, uh, maybe if the hat wasn't on. But that is cute. I do like these outfits. I'm not in any way putting this doll down. This is a beautiful doll. I'm so excited to have her. I'm just pointing out what I think. Streaked hair, exotic hair. Oh, well, she's pointed out that the oriental piece is exotic, which is why I didn't put it in her hair. I didn't think it's punk at all. Um, so, yo, you got to help me out in the hair department. <laughs> that is what the bottle is meant to look like. It's meant to be filled up to there. <laughs> this is what storing your doll in a closet does for years. <laughs> Cleo, my papillon. Oh my god, Peppy, papillon, I should say. Um, a lot of people say papillon, but I've been corrected and said it's papillon. It's so incredibly cute. Is she able to carry it? Is it smaller size? I'm going to have to look up. I dig this little guy. And then stick them anywhere. My trick for a little DIY fashion. So, okay. So decals you can stick all over your dolly. I'm not going to do that because um, if you know about sticking stuff on your dolly, it leaves, over time, it may, leaves this horrible mess that's all gunky and yucky on your doll. I wouldn't say that's secrets. I would say that was quite obvious. <laughs> But hey, you know, maybe she's a bit of a closet punk. <laughs> okay, because I love her so much, I'm going to kind of jump her to the front of what I call my processing line. When I pick dolls every so often and I do their hair, I restyle them, I get their real clothes or dress them in clothes I want them to. Um, I thought it would be good to show her with her clothes off. Um, there, She is strung. So you can see the string in here. So that is why she's probably a bit loose. The string over time, you know, it doesn't last forever. Um, I don't want to pull it too much. It's not so terrible that I want to restring her, but that is something to note. If you do find one that is second hand, you may want to check that the strings are okay in them because um, stringing dolls, if you've done it with a ball jointed doll, you can find it can be a little frustrating sometimes especially when you find there was one doll it had all its strings up into hooks in its head right and I was holding all those strings with a pen and just I don't know why but my hand went and when it went all the strings and her entire head went and the whole thing fell apart and I had to redo the process all over again so it can be a little frustrating um I kind of like that she's strung it gives her actually a more real f um, feel in her movements for me. You can see all these points. But um, yeah, because she's strung, um, she isn't going to be always that easy to pose. And that you can see in the shoulders, you can't really bring her arms up this way because the stringing only allows for back and forward. There is no mechanism in the arm to hold it out this way. So you are limited to those. That's not to worry. Uh, down in the hip area here. Yeah, because it's strung. Again, same thing with this. You cannot do sideways movements. You can do your back and forward and kicking, etc. Her feet are cool. I have a little thing for individual toes on dolls rather than stubs. Her hands are also hip. Well, obviously her hands. But a lot of dolls, they just make stubs. <laughs> stubby feet so she has individual toes and I love that these toes are kind of weird looking 
Look at her little toes. They're kind of kooky. They're kind of comical, I think. I love it. I love that they're semi-curled. Whoever has um, molded her toes, they should do more feet at Mattel. Mattel, you need this person as a foot person because so many toes are done wrong and these actually look like real feet. I know it's silly to go on about toes on a doll, but it's one of my little fussy things. Now, obviously her plastic, there is a different type of plastic used in her body and her arms. As you can see, there is a slight color discoloration, discoloration between her torso her arms and legs and her head. So there's three different tones here. There is a yellow olive on her face. There is a more natural olive on her torso. And then her arms and legs are a step, just a step above flesh. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but I'm just gonna say that she is a doll over time who's gonna have discoloration issues. So it's really good that she has covering clothes. At the back is printed 2004 Mattel. She's just incredibly beautiful. Okay, now, sweetheart, now I'll give you some privacy like this. <laughs> I am so in love with this doll, and as I said before, I want more. <laughs> of course I need more now. Um, a huge thank you to Jay Dolls for, um, I'm an all-over toy collector. She is an adult doll collector, so she specifically goes for beautiful dolls. Um, for introducing me to this doll line because I did not know about it at all and I've been hanging out one forever so a huge big thank you to my best friend who's always making sure that I get the dolls I like. I went to my husband and I said does this strike you as punk style? I like punk and this does not strike me as punk style so we both think that this is kind of Mattel's toned down punk style because um, you know mother's Mostly mums aren't going to want to buy real punk style out there for their girls. <laughs> so Kiana, just before you hit the bath, shower and hair salon, what should they do if they like this video? Give this video a thumbs up. If you if you love toys, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to share and I am so in love. Thank you, Matt. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.